Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we will check if a queue can be sorted into another queue using a stack. Our problem statement is given a queue consisting of first n natural numbers in random order. The task is to check whether the given queue elements can be arranged in increasing order in another queue using a stack. The operations allowed are push and pop elements from the stack, pop or nq from the given queue, push or dq in the another queue. For example, if the input queue has elements in the order 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then if we obtain a queue having elements in the order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then output is yes. Here we can get a output queue in increasing order using stack. Let's see how we can do that. So we need to store the elements of input queue in the output queue in increasing order. So to start with, we pop the element 6 from the queue and push it in the stack. Now pop 1 and push it in the output queue. Keep popping elements from the input queue and push them in the stack or queue. Later, we will understand the condition according to which we are pushing the elements in the stack or in the queue. Now, popping elements from the stack and pushing in the output queue. Here we got the desired output queue. Thus, the answer is yes. Let's see its C++ implementation and understand it by taking an example. So, we have given a queue as 6, 1, 5, 4, 2, 3. In the code, in the first while loop, what we are doing is dequeuing elements from the queue and pushing them in stack if required according to the condition. Please note that the output queue shown in the diagram is just an illustration purpose. We are not pushing any element in the queue since we need to answer in yes or no. So in this code, first of all, we we'll initialize the variable expected by 1. Here we have three cases. If the front element of the queue is equal to expected element, then increase the value of expected by 1. Or, second condition, front element is not equal to expected and stack is empty, then push the element in the stack. Third condition, front not empty and stack is not empty and the top element in the stack is smaller than the element popped, then return false and then keep popping element from the stack if its top value equals to expected. At last, if the stack is empty and expected minus 1 equals number of elements, then return true, otherwise return false. In this example, front element 6 not equal 1, thus pushed in the stack. Here, 1 equals expected value, thus now expected value becomes 2. 5 not equal expected and 5 less than 6, thus 5 pushed in stack. 4 not equal expected and 4 less than 5, thus 4 pushed in stack. 2 equals expected, thus expected increases. 3 equals expected, thus expected increases. Now emptying the stack. 4 equals expected thus popped and expected increased. 5 equals expected thus popped and expected increased. 6 equals expected thus popped and expected increased. The stack is empty and expected minus 1 equal number of element that is 6. Thus this returns true. Time complexity of the algorithm is ON since we traverse the whole array. 
Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.